Okay, so this morning, welcome to Oxfordshire. This is Albury House. We are in a very sort of quaint little oasis called Albury, uh, in between Tiddington and Tame. This is a stunning grade two listed cottage, four bedrooms, uh, loads of accommodation downstairs, stunning sort of cottage gardens, which we'll show you later. Um, but come along inside, I'm gonna show you around the accommodation. So, as you come in, you can see some lovely flooring that sort of gain entrance to the sort of main reception area through to the kitchen and utility. I'll take you through this way first. Um, you can see you've got some lovely, what I would say, original flagstones uh, with a very pretty sort of Inglenook fireplace. Fireplaces obviously will need to be swept and uh, lined potentially to be used, but lovely sort of dining room or, or nowadays might be a family room, depending on how you'd like to use it. Coming through to the sort of principal reception room, again, you've got lovely sort of windows, lovely sort of corner window, loads of light. Again, a fantastic uh, Inglenook fireplace with a real fire and then leading through to the conservatory which you can see enjoys the views of the garden and the privacy that it offers. So walking back through, we'll go back to the entrance where for convenience you've got a really good size utility um, downstairs shower room and toilet and then probably the, the hub of the house just stepping down here uh, to a really good sized kitchen breakfast room obviously you've got all your sort of mod cons in here uh, sort of nice granite worktops um, you see you have a courtyard guard at the back as well which you have access to <coughs> via a back door um, heating you can see is oil, we're in a village so we won't have mains gas but it's oil heating um, but a lovely sociable kitchen breakfast room. Also the stairs are here to going up to the first floor which I'll just go now and show you. Okay so first floor, so we have four bedrooms on this level. Um, this is the, the master suite we say which has got some lovely sort of high ceilings you obviously got plenty of exposed beams, uh, lovely sort of cast iron fireplace, as you can see, it's a lovely feature. Um, and we, to the front here, we're able to look at our, our formal gardens, but also the church grounds, which is a nice, peaceful setting. We've also got uh, a little shower room, which is off the master bedroom as well. So you've got your own little on suite which is um, very handy. So that's a good sized master bedroom. We have obviously back into the landing, we have some storage under the stairs. This is the, the smallest of the four bedrooms. We currently are using it, or not me, but the current owners are using it as an office. So you've got loads of shelving which can be taken out. So that would be a reasonable size fourth bedroom. Uh, again, you've got separate family bathroom, which has got your bath and toilet and sink. Obviously we have the shower in the master bedroom. Uh, this bedroom is a lovely sort of quaint double bedroom again you've got some nice exposed beams. We've got two single beds in here. We've obviously got uh, a washer and basin so grand grandchildren or anyone visiting they can, can obviously have a wash and brush their own teeth or they're going to the bathroom. And then sort of coming through to the other end of the cottage, uh, you've got this lovely big double bedroom again with high ceilings, exposed uh, beams, good size double bedroom. And then uh, as a bit of a bonus, we've got a converted loft, uh, which I will show you upstairs. Okay, so this is obviously the converted loft, so it just gives you a little bit of extra space as you can see. We've got additional sort of wardrobe space up here, loads of storage. Could make it into another study if you wanted to. It's just a bonus room, but great to have. 
So that's obviously the, the loft conversion. I'm just gonna take you down now and we'll have a good tour of the gardens. Okay, so we're at the front of Albury House and you've got your own private parking here, which you can get at least two, maybe three cars on. So this is your own private detached garage. Um, so a bit of potential there maybe, something to planning or at least potting around in the, in the garage is useful. And coming through to sort of the grounds, the gardens sort of are mainly at the front of the cottage and then slightly round to the side. We are attached, well theoretically we're semi-detached, we're attached to, the, to, to very, very small parts of the cottage, but um, it, it feels that it's detached. We were in a stunning, quiet little oasis, as I said earlier, so it's a very quiet area, um, very little of any passing traffic, uh, and you've obviously got all these grounds to enjoy. You obviously have the neighbouring properties as well. Yeah, the property is, is stepped in in history, uh, which obviously we can obtain via the internet and we can explain when you come and visit. Uh, but it is a glorious detached, or sorry, semi detached cottage. So, Aubrey House, Oxfordshire. Um, I'm Darren from College and County Estate Agents. Please give us a call and come and have a look at this gorgeous cottage. It won't be available for long. Thanks for listening and see you soon.